welcome back to my channel. My name is Monica. In case you are new, I am a mom of two and a 7th and 8th grade math teacher. Um, for today's video, I'm actually going to be showing you guys a trip that I took with my kids um, a couple months ago. But before I do so, I did want to come on and just kind of give you guys an update. So, a long story short, I got really busy with work and um, being a mom. And so, at the moment, my kids are not sleeping through the night, so it's been affecting my sleep and my ability to have time to do fun stuff like edit my videos. And so, I'm just kind of giving you guys this explanation as to why I have not uploaded my videos, but I have been still trying to keep up with my vlogs. I just haven't had the time to edit them. My next couple of videos were from back in October. I have a fall-themed or fall events video coming out as well as our our family's first trip to Disneyland. After catching you guys up, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on Vlogmas. I do plan to attempt Vlogmas, but my videos will not be going out every day of the month. I will be posting two vlogs a week, one on Monday, one on Friday. My Monday vlogs will be from the weekend and kind of how I spent it with my family. And the Friday vlogs will be from the week and kind of a compilation of things that happened that week. I am switching my upload dates from Tuesdays to Mondays and Fridays until the end of this year. So let's hope... I can successfully pump out these videos and enjoy the process. Go ahead and enjoy this video and give it a thumbs up if you like it and I'll see you guys soon. Good morning and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing a road trip with my two babies. It is Thursday. Um, I am actually off work for today and tomorrow. I had to take the days off to be home with my kids. Um, we didn't have anyone to watch them, so I get to spend time with them. Um, my sister invited us to the beach because this weekend's my grandma's birthday and so um, Pedro wasn't going to take the days off, so I signed up to attempt to try this road trip. I'm just praying that things work out and that our kids are good on the way there and on the way back. I'm a little worried, but, um, it's a two and a half hour drive, and I just want to bring you guys along with us to show you kind of how it goes, what I did to, do to prepare, and all of that good stuff. In case I didn't already say it, it's 7 a.m. The kids are still sleeping. I'm going to go ahead and show you what I packed last night and then what I packed this morning and everything that I'm taking. I am also going to be packing Jedediah's water, my water, and some snacks for the way there and the way back. Um, and I think that's it. So when they wake up, we'll get fed. I'm going to feed Ayla a bottle, so hopefully she lasts longer without needing to eat. That will also give my breast milk, my, that will also give my breast time to build up some milk. And then I'll probably just feed Jedediah some oatmeal. So it's nice and fulfilling for him. So I'm actually going to prep that now. So I have some snacks, some drinks for me, for him, some fruit. This mat and his bib all i'm gonna take all of this and the bag and this is the diaper bag that stays in our car i'm just gonna go through it and see if there's anything i need to add into it and then this is all the toys that i'm packing in the car so some books some toys for ayla and things like that oh something else i was gonna add when i was showing all the toys i'm packing the reason I have so many toys is just to help them both be entertained on the way there. Um, it's easier to entertain Jedediah because he's a lot older. And so I have a few things for Ayla as well. I am charging my tablet to bring. Um, I will have it, but I'm hoping he doesn't need it. Um, last time we went on a road trip was to San Francisco, and he actually did the entire trip there without any electronics. And all I did was pack him books and toys. And so that's my same mindset is that Hopefully he doesn't need it, but I have it just in case so he can be relaxed and just kind of hang out. So I'm whispering because I know there's sound machines on, but 
I don't want them waking up and then I don't want to interrupt their sleep. Like they hardly ever get to sleep in. So I'm just going to leave after they wake up. They get their diapers changed and fed. So I'm not worried. Like I'm trying not to wake them up. Anyways, um, I don't know the temperature over there and I want to be prepared. So I brought them two outfits. I'm packing them pajamas for the way home. And when they wake up, like I said, I'm just keeping them in their pajamas because I don't want to have them uncomfortable for the drive so i'm leaving them and i'll change them when we get there all right so i got this out of the closet it's like a really big mat we go lay out on the sand if we decide to go on the on the sand this is all of the kids clothes i'm bringing this this is just a little carrier i could set you know on i wrap it around my waist i have like a really comfortable like cozy zip up blanket for ava Burp cloths, extra blankets, because I don't know the temperature. Diapers, pajamas for the way home. Sweater for Jediah, pajamas for Jediah. And then I packed each of them two outfits. We have a guest now. Little Molotita is now awake. Um, I am going to try to get everything put in the car and get everyone's breakfast started so that by the time Jedi wakes up, all we have to do is change, eat, and leave. It's six. It's seven twenty. I'm trying to leave by eight. If there, if he's still asleep, then I'll leave when he's up. But if he wakes up, I'm trying to get everyone fed and out the door by eight. So I'm gonna try to put all the stuff in a bag put it in the car and then I want to get myself ready before I do anything else so that's the plan and I'll keep you guys updated everything fit perfectly in this little bag all right I have everything in I added her little toy I have the little basket I have the mat and the snacks the wagon the stroller and the clothes once again Jedi's food is in the um, microwave. I'm gonna warm up a bottle and I'm gonna get dressed so everyone's ready to eat. All right, so it is seven. Oh, it's eight twenty-four. I said before eight or eight thirty. I wanted to be out, so I'm about to put the kids in. I have my waters to come and grab, and that's it. And they're both dressed. They're both ready. Um, they are so cute, but I can't get a picture at the moment. So hopefully, I can insert a picture of how adorable their outfits are. Um, I'm going to keep you guys updated and get in the car so we can head out all right we are off it took us a little bit longer to get out it's 8 35 but we made it out the door i'm gonna connect my gps the house is locked up i'm exhausted i have to tell you guys what happened but long story short the last thing i filmed was i believe me and ayla trying to get um things together before jedediah woke up as i was picking out my clothes jedediah wakes up you can see me sweating i am dripping I'll catch you guys up later. I'm too tired. Long story short, Jedi woke up. I couldn't pick up the camera. I was putting things in the car, moving things around, <sighs> getting ourselves situated, change diapers, everything. Um, I have 200 miles in my gas. I don't want to have to stop for gas right now, so I'm just going to hit the freeway. I'm not grabbing anything for breakfast. I'm just going to eat this donut from the house, and I will keep you guys updated. So far, the kids are buckled in, they have their toys. I'm gonna put the music, put the GPS, and we are gonna head out. So I will see you guys later.
just a quick update it's 10 o'clock we are an hour away we're gonna take a stop in about 20 minutes to um, change diapers and feed Ayla and then we're gonna meet up or actually meeting with my family at that location before we head to the beach so we're stopping at Morro Bay and then we'll go to Pismo a little bit later and so so far the kids have been good Ayla woke up maybe like 10 15 minutes ago but she has not made a peep and Jedi has just been chilling um, hanging out and so yeah it's been a good trip so far Too far. Where you running to? <laughs> Where you running to, thick? Oh, sweet. Uh huh. I don't think so. So you could be swim ready, beach ready. The toys are probably too hot because the sun. Yeah. Whoa, that's pretty fun, huh? <laughs> I just put him on my lap. Huh? Put him on your lap. <laughs> just hold Ready, him. Ready, baby? You gonna put your car down? <laughs> Send your car first. No. Okay. <laughs> Who's that? You did this. <laughs> this big. Launch off to the. What bottom. you mean? This go to the sand. To the no, the mat in front. Oh. Ready? Ready? Put your hands up. 
So it's the next morning and I just want to update you and kind of let you guys know how the ride home went since I couldn't film anything. It was dark. Um, we got home a little bit after 10. I think the entire trip was pretty good. Like we got there perfectly fine. Only time Ava started whining was towards the like last 40 minutes of the trip on the way there. That was because she needed a diaper change and she was getting hungry. So we stopped at the gas station. I fed her. I changed her, cleaned her up. And then we finished off the drive. Um, and pretty much from there, every time we got in the car to take a drive somewhere, she would fall asleep and Jedediah would be, <clears throat> he would be tired, but he would just kind of chill in the car. He only took like a 10 minute nap in between one of the drives. We did go from Morro Bay to Pismo, but before we got to Pismo, we like stopped to get something to eat. Then we drove to a park. So those little drives, literally every time we got in the car, Ayla would take a nap. <coughs> so <coughs> we enjoyed our time there. I'll insert a few clips from us being there. But then on the way home, this is the part I was most nervous for because I know Ayla does not like night car rides. And I think it's because she can't see. So she did pretty good. She had three different spells of like crying. The first two, they were very shortly, like she just cried for a little bit. And I was able to kind of calm her down by just holding her hand, like reaching in the back to hold her hand. I was trying not to stop because I was by myself with both of my kids and it was pitch dark. Like I said, we got home before 10 or right after 10. So... I tried not to stop, but then the third time she started crying, she was crying for like 20 minutes on and off, and I couldn't get her to stop. Almost 30 minutes, actually. I eventually ended up pulling over to feed her and um, put her back in to leave. She still kept crying, but I then I actually turned the back light on in the car so she could at least see her brother or like see when she's waking up, and she still kept crying. So what it was, was she wanted her, something else. So I gave her her burp cloth, and then she knocked out. And she was asleep the rest of the way home. So I should have probably had that, gave that to her earlier. But the reason I, <clears throat> the reason I didn't was because I was using that, her burp cloth to roll it up, to like let her use as a pillow. Because when she would fall asleep, her neck would be kind of like out a little bit. So I was using her burp cloth to put it here. So it was a... The way home was a challenge, but we made it. Everyone's good. We all slept good. And that's the end of this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you've ever traveled with babies by yourself, please let me know how that went. Or give me some ideas of what I could have done better for the future. Oh, last thing. Jedediah did watch TV the whole way back because there was no way. I was. He wouldn't have managed to. He couldn't play with anything. It was dark. So he wouldn't be able to see any of his toys or read his books. So I did give him the screen the whole way back. But yes, let me know if you guys have any suggestions or ideas for future traveling with two kids by myself. So I will see you guys in my next time. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. There you go. Oh, how cute. Thank you.